Hi guys, Josh here with Speed Reno, and today I'm going to be talking all about some work I've been doing on the ArduSTEM engine stimulator. So if you've done any work on engine management systems or with developing those or, or testing them, you're probably familiar with the concept of an engine stim or an engine simulator. A device that produces uh, signals that emulate the crank and cam sensors that we see on an engine and that serve a couple of different purposes but in general allow us to uh, test the setup of a board to provide it with um, some simulated inputs and ensure that all of the outputs are, are running correctly based on the inputs that we're seeing from that board. They're also an invaluable tool for when we're doing developing on an ECU that allow us to, to write a decoder and be able to test that in a way that we, we can be certain or confident that it works across all scenarios within that system. For a long time, I've been using a system called ArduStim, which is a, a nice open source engine simulator that's been based off um, the Arduino platform. So very simple to use, very simple to get into. There are some other commercial units available that do this as well, but ArduStim has been a lovely, uh, nice way to do it that's very flexible and open and, and has allowed me to, to modify it in ways that I've needed to. However, one of the, the biggest problems that I've had with ArduSTEM is that the project is, is largely on ice at the moment. It hasn't had any significant updates for a long time and has really stagnated. In my own fork of it, I, I've done a few things with adding new patterns when I've needed them, but otherwise it's remained unchanged. It had a couple of weaknesses. I, I always felt that its GUI was not particularly strong and the GUI system that had originally been used with it was somewhat limited in, in what it allowed us to do. So terrific work by David who, who wrote ArduSTEM, but I think it had come time for some changes to be made to it. So for the last week or so, I've just been tinkering around with, with pulling the parts out of ArduSTEM that I felt weren't of too much value um, and beginning work on this new interface. One of the biggest gripes I personally had with the uh, old version of ArduSTEM was that whilst it was cross-platform, there was never a Mac version available. Um, and, and doing most of my development work on Mac, this was obviously pretty frustrating. And I ended up just typically altering the source code directly and, re and recompiling to send it up whenever I wanted to make a change, which wasn't ideal. So this new, new software interface is, is fully cross-platform. It'll run on Windows, Linux, Mac, uh, even Raspberry Pi will work. Um, and it's fairly simple at this stage, but this will, will just give you a little bit of an overview of, of how it works. So I'm just going to connect to the device here. And we'll get the main live view screen up here. Now there's a couple of different ways we can we can determine the RPM um, from ArduSTEM. Currently it's set to use a, a potentiometer on the board. Um, now that bounces around a little bit just due to the, the inaccuracy of the, the potentiometer I'm using but it's a nice way of, of being able to adjust the RPM fairly simply, just as just by moving a, a potentiometry switch there. We can, of course, set that to a fixed RPM value as well, and the stim will lock on that RPM. There will be an RPM sweep range, obviously, as well. This is currently not working in the, the alpha version that I've got here, uh, but will be implemented before too long. So moving over to the configuration screen, you can see that one of the new features that was added here has been a graphical representation of what each of these patterns look like. Now this is taking the form of a virtualized wheel or crank wheel for each of these patterns. Worth noting is that none of these are pre-rendered at all. This is taking the pattern from the ArduStim that it uses to produce its signal and dynamically drawing a representation of um, this crank wheel. I'm also going to be looking to add here a, uh, a virtualized oscilloscope type view to show what this trace from the wheel would look like on an oscilloscope. I've also added a, a fairly significant number of patterns to this list as well and I think the total now is, is around 48 patterns that's, that's included. So that's about all for now. Hopefully this, this tool will be of value to people out there as it, as it picks up a few more features as I develop it. I'll drop some links in the uh, video description for where you can download the current alpha version. But stay tuned for some more updates on this one over the coming weeks. 